Except, last I checked, whales don't really live in lakes. Even the biggest lake in the world, the Caspian Sea, which, yes, it's called a sea, but it's technically considered the world's largest lake, has no whales. It's true, whales don't typically live in lakes because lakes, historically and most commonly, aren't big enough. They normally live in massive, vast open oceans, which is why we find these whales where we do, but we'll come on to that shortly. Oceans have whales, but the only way they could have ever reached this far inland into the Sahara where their bones were found is if the area was completely submerged by the ocean, which is exactly what would have happened if something like, I don't know, worldwide cataclysms that reset civilization and flooded kingdoms like Atlantis went down. All right, Graham Hancock, calm down. So yes, you do point out correctly, this area was once under a shallow marine ocean. You see, if we go back to the Eocene, we have what is known as the Tethys Sea. This was a huge body of water that connected up through the middle between Africa and Eurasia, and therefore flooded parts of what is today continental Africa. This includes Egypt. But let's be very clear here, this was around 40 million years ago. Not 15,000, not 10,000, not 5,000. There were no lost civilizations around at this time. Whatever he says, complete nonsense, it's not true. But I don't know, it's just a theory. Everything's just a theory. Unfortunately, in science, when we use the word theory, we can't just be blasé about it. There has to be some sort of factual evidence with a scientific theory which backs it up. The Sahara Desert is one of the least studied places on Earth due to its harsh climate and politically unstable regions. This area in particular has come to be known as Wadi al Hitan, the Valley of the Whales, located in Egypt and may hold many other secrets that are going to take decades to uncover. Firstly, it's true, the Sahara and that area is more difficult to research due to the temperatures, but we do research quite a lot out there. It's just harder to find stuff because of the constant moving sand dunes. 